Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and the second part of the e-paper display. And today I focus on the software part. So let's start to have a look into the code and sorry for all the Arduino fans. This is just the ESP IDF version. So we start by having a look into the main program. The main program is just creating a task for our e-paper display and call a test task. And we can have a look into the test task program. We defined some graphics. So I defined a small chess screen and we have an upright version and a laying down version but this is just playing around. So so first we start by using this U8G2 library and we define our pins, the MOSI pin, the clock, the client select, the data and command and also the reset pin. Then we put this to our init function and set up our display and I've different definition for other displays. So you can have a look for the other displays that I've written the interface for the UHG2 library. So we set up some command structure, then we initialize the display, to wake up the display, and then it's very easy. We just use the standard U8G2 commands. We clear the buffer, set maybe some fonts, write some string, then we maybe draw a box or a frame. And for maybe a clock, we can also draw a circle, draw a disc, draw a triangle. And this is for the minute and hour arm of our clock. So we draw a line for our hour and also a line for our minute. And then last but not least, every two loops, I draw also a bitmap. So we can see that the bitmap is appearing and disappearing. And then we do a maybe three second delay and just update the display every three seconds. And we can have a squeeze look what I've inserted into the U8G2 library. This is the setup function. And you see here are in the setup C file, we have many, many setup functions for all the different displays. And I've just added here the e-paper display also. And we have also a special structure with all the callback functions. And we find this here. So here we define all the callback functions for our special display and I just use an other display as a template and just insert what we need for our e-paper display. And as you see, we have maybe a function an init sequence and display sequence and we have also a wake up sequence, power down sequence and if we want to flip or rotate in display we, then we have an other sequence and so on. Then we have also a draw function and refresh function. This is also the defined structure for all our displays and so on and some helper functions for our memory. And that's it. So special thanks to Olli Kraus and all the other staff members of the U8G2 library. You've done a very excellent job. So I just copy all the library and just insert a small portion for the e-paper display. And hopefully maybe this can be joined into the project someday. So thanks for clicking the video today. I hope you find this useful and maybe learn something. If you have some questions or want to leave some critics or maybe have some suggestions, just use the comment sections down below. I hope you subscribe to my channel. If not, just click on the subscribe button. So thanks for watching my video today. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.